charge. They don't come to me or the person in charge. And I may not ever get a chance to call back. The artist may change his mind and say, I'm not doing show business anymore. I still got to work. But just to wrap this thing up, what I'm saying is, there's no way in the world we can do the things that we're doing for the artist that we're currently pushing if it was that artist, she can do it herself. We have people. We make phone calls. And relationships is the most important thing that you guys got to understand. You have to establish relationships and be loyal. Two words, loyalty and your relationship. That goes a long way. It outdoes money. It outdoes who's hot. Because this guy could be the hottest guy. But if man, his relationship is down, he's getting in. Happens all the time in show business. So I'm advising you guys to definitely get somebody to represent you that now, they gotta represent you for fully, but you gotta do your thing, which is make the hottest music you can make. Go back to the draw board. He might say, man, we still missing us the, the groove that needs a beat on it, the drums. You gotta go back and do that part. Stay out in the streets, marketing yourself, promoting yourself, doing all those jobs, you're never gonna get it all right. If that's the case, why does all these major artists have all these people? You guys do realize that Jay-Z is not doing all those things. He's probably got 200 people working for him. The list goes on and on and on. They're not doing it by themselves. That's the biggest problem that we see with most of the young artists of not understanding that concept to be able to work with folks. People make the world go round. When we did the thing that um, he was speaking today, it was just phone calls. Hook up the radio station, got my relationship going down with them. They're being sponsored. They got involved with the, uh, what was the name of the program today, you guys did? Cleveland Classic. Cleveland Classic. Made a phone call. We got an artist who got the right music. We didn't send them a cursing track. Send them the right tracks for what they need. You get me? You got to know your market. One of the young ladies made it earlier today. Know when you do to how to deal with these markets. We got the right song to them. I made a phone call. They show up to the uh, show up to Cleveland's uh, Brown Stadium. They put a stage up. You don't got a chance to perform. Had a line. 40 minutes before she got through signing autographs. 40 minutes. That's a lot of people. Within that time, hooked up with, with a Metro. Just by doing things, which is the phone company people, the new company, the marketing people. We want to work with you. Give me a call Monday. What's your next project? You got to know how to do it. But all that was set up through people hooking things up. Get it? So that's what you guys need to do when you network with each other. Use each other's resources for real. Not just based on, I got a CD, you take my, y'all guys got to look at it. When you get ready to do a project, you work on a movie, how about me and my crew get in a movie? Y'all got to work with each other like that to build up each other's, to build up stories where people just have to do things. Here's one key thing I'm going to pass the mic on. When I promote artists, the first thing I do is realize I got to get the artists out there. So the first thing I'm going to do is find other people that have to do things. So I'm going to check out and say, okay, I see they're getting ready to do a big campaign on this. Uh, uh, I, I use these guys, for example. Uh, they're getting ready to go on a big tour across the country when they're going to do uh, the nerve DJs. So that means they got to promote. So I'm going to be smarter to get in with them and say, hey, this is what I can bring to the table. Can I tag along with you? While I'm pushing this and pushing your thing, now I get double promotions because I got to promote and I'm cross-referencing with their promotion. Then I'm reaching audiences that I can never reach before. You get that part? So that's what the management does. Now if I left that up to my artist, that would never happen. Because my artist wants to feel good. You know, they, they like to read the press clippings. We don't sleep. We're always looking for the next thing. So that, was my, that would be my advice to you guys. To make sure that you take those two things, those things in hand, but trying to get somebody to represent you, you know, the right way, and then trying to link up with most people that's out there doing things. Don't be afraid because you're an artist and he's an artist, and we can't link. We can't link. We did a song with the Silky Slide. A lot of you guys familiar with that? That's Big Mochi, you're probably performing. So what we did, we hooked up the 11 year older to do this, the same track with him. And a lot of people didn't understand that. But I explained it to uh, the guys that was producing this record. It's going to put Moochie in a whole other audience. You got 11-year-olds that love this kid, which he could never reach. But at the same time, it introduced her to another audience where people say, oh, that's hot. Well, she's only 11 years old. A whole other audience. That's how you put things together. Okay? Well.